Hi friends, I'm Kitty and welcome to Little Wattle Nursery. I'm an adult doll collector that creates content that aims to encourage fun and positivity in our hobby. You are never too old for dolls and never too old for a hobby you love. So stick around and have some dolly fun. Hi friends, it's so good to finally be back. Yes, I've been away <laughs> from the channel for most of April and I'm going to fill you in on what's been going on with that. Plus, in this video, I'm going to share lots of hauls, lots of shopping hauls. But first, I want to introduce you to little Genevieve. Who remembers little Genevieve? She's not been on the channel for quite some time. She's Totty's reborn doll. She's a little premi reborn doll and she normally hangs out in Totty's bedroom. But because Totty has decided to put away a lot of her dolls and toys and things like that, this little one is now in the nursery. So I'm really easing back into things because I've been away for a few weeks. And so I've done a quick little outfit change on Genevieve, which I'm going to show you shortly. And I'm just going to fill you in on very briefly on some of the things that we've been getting up to offline and then I'm going to share all these amazing shopping hauls with you. Genevieve is looking so super cosy in this cute Pooh Bear sleeping bag. We are now progressing. We're very much into autumn and we're progressing. You know, the next couple of months will be in winter in Australia and April was a very busy month. We had Easter so there was some time off with Easter and we spent that with family and then the children all went back to school and then there was a two-week autumn school holiday break and during that time I decided to not upload anything onto YouTube and just spend time with family and I really enjoyed the break away but I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of things. Anyway, let me show you this cute little outfit that I've got Genevieve dressed in. It's Pooh Bear. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? So starting up here, she's got this cute little headband. And let me just take a little pacifier off. Isn't this just the most gorgeous sculpt? I'll get her paperwork out in a moment. And share that with you but she's been beautifully painted look at that hair just stunning and yeah here's this gorgeous little outfit Winnie the Pooh outfit that she's in with these cute little blue woolen booties so stinking adorable so little Genevieve she's the Laura Lee Eagles Premi Rosie limited edition doll She's number 757 of 1,025. So that's her COA. She was reborn by Cherry Blossom, Reborn Art Dolls by Julie McNamara here in Australia. And there are her details there. So she, <laughs> she weighs... Two pounds and seven ounces, so adorable. And she's 14 to 15 inches long. I just think she's so sweet. Look at these little hands. They're all stretched out. She's so adorable. 
This little one is very well loved. She's always well received on the channel. She's a gorgeous little baby doll and she just looks so cute in her outfit. So I'm really excited to be sharing some of the shopping hauls that we've recently done. Uh, we have done a lot of shopping <laughs> offline, so I hope you really enjoy that. And what's really good is that Totty is going to be in a lot of that footage, so you'll be able to catch up with her. She hasn't been on the channel for quite some time, as we know. YouTube... YouTube's algorithm was kind of having issues with her being on YouTube. Uh, they were picking up, I think, her voice. And even though she's well in her teens, for some reason, every single time she spoke in a video, I think they thought she was a child under the age of 13. I don't know. I don't know what the issue was. Um, hopefully there won't be an issue with this video. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you that I've had a really wonderful time away, just catching up with family, making memories. It's been really lovely and I've got so much to catch up on. Oh, I've got so many videos. I've got all these plans, but just trying to, f trying to find the time to do it is it's just so challenging, you know, when you're working and raising a family, it can be really hard. You can see over here, that's a box opening. That's a box opening. There's another box opening. There's another. There's another. I've got a blanket reveal. I've got another box out in the garage. Here's another box. I've got so many dolls to do box openings on that I just, like I said, I just haven't had time. So I'm hoping in the next week or two I will get around to doing at least one of those box openings. And some of these dolls, they go all the way back to last year. Like I've had these dolls in boxes since last year. They were being stored out in our garage, I have finally brought them inside to try and remind me to do the box openings on them. <laughs> it's just, yeah, life just gets crazy. So I'm really looking forward to sharing some more box openings on the channel as well as other content. And I will be resuming Casual Fun Friday. Again, keep sending in your um, photos keep participating but I'm just going to slowly <laughs> just slowly get back into things I want to start getting into more of a recording schedule again and just trying to juggle that whole work-life balance I guess ha 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 <laughs> anyway let's move on to the next part of the video which are these fabulous hauls but before we get into the shopping hauls, here's a quick glimpse of Easter. So this is the table setting that I did for Easter dinner. All the cute little bunnies. They're so adorable. I love this setting and I really look forward to bringing it out every year. And I brought out the special gold cutlery. I thought that looked really good with um with the setting. And here are just some other gorgeous Easter decorations that were around the house. We kept it really simple. Like I said, life's just been very busy this year. I didn't have a lot of time to decorate for Easter. So there was just a few small pieces to get into the spirit of things. All right, now let's move on to the various shopping halls. Hi, friends. I'm here with Totty. Hi, guys. And we've been shopping. We've done the damage. <laughs> we've been meckering and we've been sephoring. Yeah. So did you want to show us what's in there? Should we go do mecca or sephora first? Let's do mecca first. Okay. So if you are in Australia, mecca is like our version, your version of sephora. Our version, Our version of Sephora, oh, but better. Okay. That's the Pillar Talk one. The tape? Yeah, just here, darling. 
So I've got more pillow talk stuff. It's like Christmas. It is, isn't it? Well, it's close to my birthday. So We're at the um, food court. Right now. Which I is why it's kind of busy. So this is some of my stuff too. Right? Yeah. Ah, uh, don't scrunch that up because we'll wrap it up. No. Okay, so we'll start. This is the collagen lip buff Hello Talk lip gloss. So that's the lip gloss I wanted. And this is the lip pencil. These are really nice. Yeah, I like Charlotte Tilbury. Mm. I don't have any of her makeup yet. And so, yeah, I wanted to get the Pillow Talk. Okay. Then what did you so get? I got the Summer Fridays lip oil. Wait, I need to do the thing that those beauty YouTubers do. Wait, the <laughs> thing with the hand. Cool. <laughs> and then I, so this is the third. And then um, a lip balm. Very nice. Now that one smells like vanilla. Vanilla, yeah, it's vanilla scented. Okay. Let's... So lip oils are all the go at the moment, not lip I... gloss. Lip gloss makes me really, like my lips really chapped. And yeah. Gross. My lip oils so much okay. better. What else have we got in there? More lip products because I'm a lip girly. Okay. So mom got one as well. We got these, wait, these kissing jelly. Too faced. Too faced kissing jelly. Like lip oils, glosses. Open one up so they can see. Okay. This is it unboxed. It's That's sparkly. so pretty. Oh, I didn't realise it was sparkly. It is sparkly. Look at it. Look at that shimmer. Put some more. Oh no, we, we can't is... show your face. So I we... put some on my hands. <laughs> Alright, yeah, do that. Or you could just block out my eyes. No, 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 we won't do that. So that's what a lip oil looks like. Nourishes the lips. Oh, it's nice. Very good. And then we went to Sephora. But I have to say, I saw more kids Sephora in the Mecca. Kids, yeah. I saw more kids in the Mecca Maxima. Yeah, and the Mecca Cosmetica. Yeah, the Me we first went to the Mecca Cosmetica. That had just adults in it. I don't think they tolerate any children there. But the Mecca Maxima had, oh my God, so good. had the TikTok kids, didn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, sometimes I get those looks because I'm pretty short for my age. Yeah. And they give me the looks of, oh, you in here. I'm like, I assure you, I'm a teenager. I'm allowed to be in here. Yeah. So you're well and truly a teenager. Very well and truly. Yeah. So this well is, and truly through high school. Yeah. So this is Sephora. Yeah, I feel like Australia's Sephora. We have less of a range than the Americans. Yeah. But still, there's still some good stuff. Okay. So this is what I'm really excited about. This is what I tried to talk you into, and then you wanted the liquid blush online. And this is the one I. And up it's in. too. Dark. Maybe I take the liquid blush, and you just. Yeah, you can take the liquid. Yeah. For sure. We can share it. So this is the uh, Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. Can that be opened Lovely. easily? Yes. Good job. <gasps> ah, it's so pretty. All right. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Well, that is nice. So this is open up so they can see inside. Oh, it's so shimmery. I think I'm going to buy one. Use some of those. This is in the shade Happy because I'm a fair girly as you can tell. So who owns this brand? Who? Selena Gomez. Yeah, Selena Gomez owns this brand. It was besties with Taylor Swift. Yeah. Who I love. So Taylor the colour is Happy. Happy. It's really good for fair girls. Yes. So that well, that's is, a really nice colour. It is. And it's got like a little mirror. Should I swatch some on? Yeah, swatch some on. Oh my god. You can barely see it, actually. That's the lip gloss hand. One second. Yeah, do it on the other hand. That's a good colour. Yeah, it. it's pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. You don't understand. All I right. Too. Okay. So that is that is our little cosmetic shopping spree yeah. in preparation for your birthday. We won't say how old you are. Let's not say how old you are. No, I know that you're very funny about things like that. Yeah, but I, I have a, I wouldn't say it's a big birthday, but like a, a, a pretty important birthday coming up on Saturday. Yes. Australian time. Yeah. Can I say the date? I think the date's fine. Right? I think the date's fine. Just not how. So my birthday is April 20, this Saturday, so <laughs> I'm very excited. So early, early birthday shopping. So yeah, that's why we're out shopping, so... Anyway, I know everyone hasn't seen Totty on the channel in a while. I know. So it was good to just Wait. 
say hi. hi so guys. now maybe say bye. And bye everyone. I'll see you next time. <laughs> home now and I realized that I didn't hit record when I was talking about the pillow talk cheek to cheek blush so this one isn't the liquid it is a powder this is the lighter one out of the two and they call it a swish and glow blusher so you've got the beautiful pillow talk color with that gorgeous glow in the middle. And so you just swish the brush all around in there so you get a little bit of everything. It's a really pretty compact. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Gloss. It's in the light because it comes in four different shades. So... There's like a light, a medium, a matte, and then a dark. So this is the light, and this is the pencil. And I'll do a swatch. So that is the fair pencil with the fair gloss. It's really, really pretty. So we're home from shopping, but we did a little bit more shopping, didn't we, at the we All Kind were, store? We were walking out, and <laughs> we let the intrusive thoughts win. Yeah. So what have, what have you? Which one's yours? This one. I'm not allowed to open it until my birthday, though. No, she's not. But it's basically got these things in it and a few more. I might just open it to show them. But we decided they've got all different flavours in this shop. So there was, uh, what kind of flavours? There was like waffle, donut, strawberry jam, like space candy. Yeah, it was all sorts of really yummy stuff. And we decided to do, you know, these uh, vintage, you know, retro candy hearts. Well, we just, you know, that smell. Well, I decided to go with that and Toshi really loved it. And so she got it in a pack as well. So I'm just going to open this first. This is like a, is it like a perfume? Would that be the best way of describing? Body spray. Body so spray. This is the bottle and it's naturally flavoured because they're sort of saying no gross stuff and it's all sort of natural. But they said it smells like sherbet, candy sherbet. It is so beautiful and it sits on the counter like that. But I just love the little sweet, you know, the little candy hearts. And it's a limited edition. They call this a body spray. Is the receipt in the bag? Pull the receipt out and we can tell people how much it is. It was. Wait, I'm just gonna and hide. here is, this is the whipped shower foam. And this shower foam has become really popular here in Australia. Probably in about the last 12 months, hasn't it, shower foam? And it's in that gorgeous Candy Hearts fragrance. So the body spray is about 20, 20 bucks or $19.99. Yeah, how much was the... The whipped shower foam... Oh, I can't. $16.99? Yep. And how much was the Berry Blast Lip Glow? Well, they didn't have it in Candy Bible Hearts. Crumble. Berry Blast, eleven ninety nine. This was $11.99. I'll just pull this one out of the box. So this is this gorgeous Berry Blast Lip Glow. Can you just do a little swatch on your hand so everyone can yes. see what it looks like? Because it's pretty and... Colourful. So it gives it gives your lips a bit of a tint. Oh, so much. Oh, that doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Pop it on your lips. Okay. Yeah, and it's really nice. It's raspberry smelling. So I don't know whether you have this in the UK, in the States, but it is so cute, this all kinds. Now, this is the pack that we got for Toddy for her birthday. She's got a few extra things in there that I'm just going to pull out and show you. What does the lip gloss taste like? Well, I accidentally did get a bit of my tongue and it actually tasted like <laughs> It tastes so good. So these are the few extras. She got these in her little beautiful, I guess you'd call it gift box. Yeah. But then she also got this cute washer. It's a foam washer and it's... It looks like a waffle. That is so cute. This was free because we spent a certain amount of money. money. And then I don't know whether you have Violet Crumble. Maybe you have Crunchy. I think there's Violet Crumble possibly in the UK. I'm Maybe not, sure not about the US. Well, it's a absolutely delicious chocolate. So there's the chocolate on the outside and then the inside's the honeycomb. Well, this lip balm, balm or they call it a glow, glow smells and tastes exactly it like does. it. So I'll just pull it out of the box. So that's what it looks like. 
oh, this is made in Australia, these, these products. I had no idea about that because the shop's relatively new. Well, it's new to us because we don't go shopping very yeah. much in the city, do we? No, we're kind of homebodies. Yeah. So that was the rest of the, the haul for today. So we had a really good shopping haul in the city, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we, we, we did. We needed it. Girl therapy. <laughs> exactly. So it's Toshi's birthday today. I'm not saying which number. Wait, is there <laughs> anything these... here that's going to say? No, that's okay. okay. She's got these beautiful flowers. Do you want to explain what's in here? Okay, should we start with this one? Yeah. This one is from Mum and Dad. I got some Emco Beauty makeup brushes. And Emco Beauty. They've just dropped the, in the States. Yep. So go get yourself some. Very actually... popular Australian brand, but it is huge in America because they dupe everything, don't they? they and they do love it. They dupe everything. And what else Wait, is there? I'll show you the most popular dupe. When did you want to go to? Dad, we're filming. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, like when I get ready. Have I got time? I just want to back up to Coles. I just got to get yeah. some washing. Yeah, go stuff. for it. Bye. Okay, so then you might recognize these. Uh, these are the Emco Beauty bronzing drops. Oh, they're very popular, aren't they? They are. Well, the drunk elephant bronzing drops are really popular among the Sephora ten year olds. Um, and this is the dupe. And this is the dupe. It's much cheaper, and I already have their blush drops. And their glow drops. Haven't tried the glow drops yet. Tried the blush drops. There so well. everything's really super cheap. Like nothing was over seventeen dollars. This was like maybe seventeen ninety nine or something like that. That was the most expensive. Okay. Oh, press powder. So this is the next thing I got. It's press powder. There's the press powder. This is the press powder. It's very shiny. So yes. It's just to help set your makeup. Beautiful. I think you can Let's, lift that one up. Yeah, good idea. Like so. Oh, that's a good powder. Okay. Then I'm going to... Oh, I mm. got this really big beauty blender. Oh, it's that's huge, nice. huge. But it's going to be really good. I, I Look, I it's going to be very... Uh, here's the thing. I don't put that much makeup on. So it's probably... It will come in handy because it will make my application quicker. It will. All right. Then we have Oops. some makeup brush spray. Oh, that's so that brush cleaner. Yeah, so that my brushes don't end up like my old ones. They were a little fun. And then finally, I got two glosses. So I got this one, which is like this. Oh, this is an oil. Sorry, a hydrating yeah. oil. The lip oils are all the go now. I prefer lip oils. And then we have a fruit punch jelly gloss. Mm. You don't get it. So nice. It's a very yeah. This is what I got from Emco Beauty. Oh, very nice. And I like got it. Some money from your grandparents, I which did. went straight into your bank bank account. Yeah. But what did you get? Turn this around and show everyone, because this is Australian chocolate. It's made in South Australia, and it's called Cakes. and it's delicious Big. chocolate. It's so good. Well. They used to get me the small one, and then I started asking for the big one. The golden frog. So, yes, Haig's Chocolate, this golden frog is very famous. You can get a, a big pupper one and then you can get a smaller one, which is I about this big. I get the smaller ones. Mm. But, yeah, Haig's Chocolate from South Australia, from Adelaide, it's yeah. very, very good. Daddy used to bring some he back did. from Adelaide when he'd go when there for work. Trips. Yep. It was really funny. But now we have a Haig's here in and, the city. Yeah, so when I was younger... Um, when dad went on business trips, I used to ask him, please, dad, please bring me back a big one. And he used to be like, no, Totty, you have to have the small one. You're not going to eat all of the big one. <laughs> but now, because I'm older, I get the big one. Yes, that's good. Oh, well, I hope you've had a lovely birthday. You're looking forward to your birthday dinner tonight. I am. I better get cracking on with the cooking. Yeah. Okay, bye. bye. So here is a quick snapshot of the dinner table setting for Totty's birthday dinner. She went for a gold theme. Okay, so we've got another haul, haven't we? What's, what's, what is it this time? Emco Beauty. All right, because we've already done a little bit on that. So start pulling out the goodies. Next thing. Yeah, that's is This is a dupe for the Laneige uh, Overnight Lip Masks. Awesome. It's strawberries and cream. Great. Then, oh, this one's mine. The, this Fruity Lip Pineapple Lip Hydrating Lip Oil. 
Oh, that looks delicious. Maybe open it so we can smell it. All right, what does it smell like? Is it like pineapple? Oh my gosh! Let me have a smell. It actually smells like pineapple. It matches the table. <laughs> so that's pineapple. Oh, that's beautiful. That smells exactly like pineapple and you've got little pineapples on the lid. That's super yeah. cute. I think these are limited edition as well. Excellent. What else did All you right. get? Then, oh, this one's one of yours. It's the Fruity Lips uh, Hydrating Oil. And I actually have the same one. And yes. And it smells like strawberry. Excellent. Then we have another one of yours. The Lip Shimmering Hydrating Oil. I hope I haven't already got this. I this don't think you do. This one's retro. I think this was the one that we were struggling to get at one point. Yeah. Okay, and then <gasps> this one is the peach. Oh, get that one opened. Okay. So what does the peaches one smell like? Does it smell like peaches? Oh, okay, that's peachy. All right. That's the lid. Oh, that's full on peach. That's full on like, peach. That is full. Full on peach. That's actually delicious. I wish I'd gotten some of those now. Yeah. Oh, this one is the strawberry one. This is the first oh, one I picked this up. Is the one, this is the one I found. Oh, it's going to be nice. So there it is. It says strawberry. Here's the lid. Let me have a smell. Oh, it's nice. But I think my favourite is the pineapple? peach. I like the pineapple. I like the strawberry, actually. The strawberry's nice. Very good. What and else have we got? This is the last thing. <gasps> I'm so excited. So I what have, flavors are in there? These are not flavor. Oh, mini fruity. Okay. Well, I wait. They might be on the bottom. Okay, they're on the bottom. So the limited edition. Let's just explain because people don't understand. MK Beauty has done a limited edition candy shop line. And you'll probably have this in America coming out soon because this is actually an Australian brand that's taken off in the US. It's a lip oil and it's a five-pack mini fruity shimmer delights. So let's find out what right. they are. So what have we got? So this one is peach. Oh, so you've got a peach one here. They look like little nail polishes. Look how small that applicator is. That's so cute. What flavor is that one? This one, oh, that sounds good. Is a strawberry. Yep, so that's the same as this one over here. Yeah. This one is a coconut. Oh, open that one up. I want to smell that one. Oh my gosh, that smells like a coconut. That's actually a oh, that's really nice. Really strong that one. Delicious. And then we have a cranberry. Mm. This is different. I want to actually smell this one. Cranberry is very popular in Australia. It is. We... As a fruit to eat. That's divine. Is it? So good. Oh, yes, that's, that's delicious. And it's a nice that actually reminds me of a strawberry shortcake it doll. It does. The scent of that. What's and this, this one. one. <gasps> watermelon. Oh, that's oh, your favourite. See, I it. wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole because I don't like watermelon. Oh, smell that. That smells like a watermelon gummy. Yeah, it does. It's very fresh. don't know how you don't like watermelon. So these I are just perfect don't... for, like, purses. Oh, I'm, I'm quite, I shouldn't say I'm envious because I'm not, but I quite like these lip oils that you got. I wish I'd gotten some flavoured ones now. Yeah, they're fun. Well, you've got the strawberry one. No, this is different. This is different to that. All right. What shall we move on to next? What's the next haul? CDs and records. Okay, let's do that next. So this is the next haul. Totty got a record player for her birthday, didn't you? Yes, I did. A very good quality one yeah. with really good speakers. That I'm going to be blasting. <laughs> so what was released the day before your birthday? The Tortured Poets Department by my favourite artist, Taylor Swift. Ah. Oh, these stickers were on the yeah, inside. Yeah, the, these were on the inside, but they weren't on the record. Which no. Was really weird. So these, this comes in a lot of different variants. So this is the first variant we've got. It's called the Manuscript. If we open it up, we have a this white CD. CD. Is it white? It is white. Yeah. And with the file name, the manuscript, that's so clever. And then we've got a poster over here, which is in and also a lyric book. And a lyric book, yep. yeah. So so there was four different versions and each version of the CD 
comes with its own extra tracks, bonus yeah, tracks. Yeah, so which ended up being released on the anthology, which was a separate album, same under the Torture Pods department, but released a couple hours later. Yep. But this one's the manuscript, so that's the bonus track, the manuscript. Which right. I love it so much. It's so good. Excellent. Then we have the next one. Oh, you've got all of them. That's what I, I forgot. I do have all of this them. This is the second C- uh, CD. It's the same as the first. It's a different variant. There's not, there is an order, but I can't remember what the order was. Yep. So this one, which one's this one? This is the Albatross, I believe. So yeah. this one has a grey CD. Yep. And... Um, a different poster. A different poster with a li- lyrics on the back. Okay. Then now we've got the Black Dog. The Black Dog version, yep. Um, and it's a fully black CD. If we... It's really cool. cool. comes with another poster with lyrics on the back and an official lyric book. So, again, you can see up here, file name, the Black Dog by Taylor Swift. So that's the third version. And they all have a different extra bonus, bonus track. Bonus track. Yep. So and this is all the Tortured Poets Department yes. CD. And then this one is the Bolter. Yep. And hang on, let me just open this. Well, it's that's got a nice beige colours. CD. Oh, that's nice. See, you can see it says the Bolter. And it's got, again, post with lyrics and a lyric book. Excellent. So they're the four Tortured Poet versions. Tortured Poets Department. Sorry, sorry. (laughs) Department version of the CDs. And we pre-ordered this one, didn't we? Yes. And then you went in store and got these other ones. And I was like, Mum, it's the day before my birthday. I think I can get them. Because this is the first time that they've had them all. Yes. And when we went in there the next day, there wasn't many of these other variations left. Yes. Okay, now we've got the Tortured Poets Department record. Yes. This is the special record, isn't it? So right before she released the album, she came out with a clear record. And I didn't think it would be available in Australia. So the Phantom Clear record. Phantom Clear record. But it is. We found one. Oh. So this is the folder it's in. It has a little the Torture Post Department and Taylor recording, which I think is so cute. And the funniest thing is it actually looks like a work file. It does, doesn't it? And it has the manuscript and little paw prints. Oh, yes. Like, as in the back, Black Dog. Oh. Yes, Mum, the song of the Black Dog. Okay. I um, was thinking because she's got cats. I know, that too. <gasps> oh, look at this clear record. Is there one or two of them? There's two, but they look the exact same. Oh, it's beautiful. So um, I believe this record variant was called Peace. Right. The the Peace Clear Record, I'm not sure. Well, online it was called the Phantom. Phantom Clear Record. Clear, clear yeah. Record. And it was only available from Target in America, in but, America. but we don't sell music. Oh, in and the... it has lyrics on the back to the song Fortnite, which features Post Malone. Cool. Okay. And so the other vinyl looks the same. But show them the rest of the book because it's like a booklet. It's got a poem by Stevie Nicks. If you know, you know. Clara Bow talks about Stevie Nicks in the Taylor Swift song, Clara Bow, as in. It's actually like a book. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. So we've got Fortnite, the Torture Pots Department, My Boy Only Breaks His Favourite Toys. But Daddy, I Love Him, that's such a good song. With a little, look at that photo, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so nice. Then Fresh Out the Slammer, that was a good song. Florida, a vibe. Guilty as Sin. Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, that is such a good song, I love it so much. I Can Fix Him, no really I can. This is not Love of My Life, this is Loss of My Life, or... L O M L. Then I can do it with a broken heart. This is this I think is my favorite track from this album. Really, it's, it's a very sad song, but it's got a really like it's a bop. The smallest man who ever lived, the alchemy. Yeah. Clara Bow, I love that song. It's so beautiful. And finally, the, the manuscript. manuscript. I love this song. Written by Taylor Swift. That is beautiful. 
what other records did you get with birthday money? All right. So you bought this with your own birthday money, I didn't did. you? You so can hold it up. Hold yeah, it up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Speak Now Taylor's version, which is one of my favourite all-time albums. I bought this with birthday money I was given from my grandparents, and it's so beautiful. And when we say Taylor's version, just to give you a rundown in a nutshell, yeah. she re-released, um, she has re-released a lot of her music. Her first six albums. Because... Uh, Scooter Braun bought the mas- nice. yeah the rights the masters to her music and she wasn't very happy about that so she's released re-released a lot of her albums and her fans are buying those albums and not like supporting me. Scooter Braun. <laughs> like I love these because she has vault songs which is kind of like. Special songs. Songs she never released. So let's open it up. This uh, this album it's purple. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. When I first opened it, I was like, yeah. Show them a record. Okay. These records, I say, are like the prettiest. Yeah. So they come in. These are where she did the special sleeves. Oh, style. so beautiful. And. Wait, so the words are on the back here. Yeah, so yep. this one has Oop. the first couple songs on it. Yep. Look at that beautiful purple record. And then if we flip to the other side. Oh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful. And so these lovely. are the other two sleeves, aren't they pretty? So beautiful. I can see why you wanted this one. Yeah. Very pretty. What's next? The next one we have is Fearless Taylor's version. Just hold it up. This was her first re-recorded album. Yes. That she recorded it in 2021. Yep. And this one I love. Because of oh, this. Wow, look at this. Hold this up. It's, it's a two person job. Wow, it's this got is a amazing. A lot of photos from, I think I think most of these are from the Fearless Tour. I think they're all from the Fearless Tour. Um, and it's, yeah, they're really pretty. Wow, I recognize songs from here from when we went to the Eras Tour. Yes. Well, you'll recognize Fearless. That's the way I love you. No, no, we listened to that one together. That's the way I love you. Love story. You belong with me. Wow, it's so beautiful. That's then, gorgeous. But these ones just have plain paper sleeves, but I think this was only for Fearless. But the record is gold. gold. Oh, my goodness. That is so beautiful. That is gorgeous. Love it. It's really pretty. So pretty. Ah, uh, Midnight's. This is a lot of people's favourites. They're all the so songs. So this is the Blood Moons, Blood, Bloodstone edition, I'm pretty sure it's called. Okay. I ha- I've i never gotten this version of CD before. I actually just got the record version of it. So Let's just open this up so we just, can take a look. Very nice. This is the picture. Beautiful. Hold it up. So. And... What does the record, is the record plain or? It's not. <gasps> wow, it's orange. And it's got like a clock, like midnight. So when it's spinning, it's actually like a clock. That Maybe is midnight. so cool. Awesome. This is my favourite, is Lover. Yeah, so Lover has some really pretty records. If we open it up, it's got this picture of Taylor. Yeah, so let's just lift that this up. This is her, where she dyed the ends of her, her, of her hair pink. Pink, yep. All right, let's open these records. I'd say the prettiest in color. Oh, this is the sleeve. Yes, has the list of so beautiful. Now this is the. If I can get out, the, it's a bit stuck. The pink record. Oh, gorgeous! <gasps> Bubblegum pink. Look at that. That is so beautiful. So it is. So and the, all, all of these records were bought with your birthday money, I wasn't did. it? Yeah. I did buy all of these with my birthday money because if I have a record player, I do need some records. We'll oh, show people your record player in just a moment, won't yes, we? Yes, we will. That's the sleeve on the other. Yes. And then... Oh, and here's the blue record. It's... That is so pretty. It's so gorgeous. On the record player, it looks... So cool. Oh, stunning. Well, I'm really excited to show everyone your new record player. 
And hopefully what we're going to do is we'll talk over the music so we won't get, so we won't get done for copyright. We think we've learnt that from watching other videos, of haven't Taylor we? Swift people, yeah. Yeah, if you talk if you talk loud enough over the music. Yeah, then you won't get done. Done for copyright. So anyway, we'll doing. we'll see whether that works. So this is the new record player that she got. It's called a Denon. Can you remember what brand the speakers were? No idea. No. <laughs> Dad did most of this. I yeah. just tagged the The record on. player is the same as what we've got. Here's the clear um, record. record. So this is the clear phantom tortured. Phantom clear tortured parts department. Oh, I can never remember all of it. Now, don't have it too loud because we need to talk over it. It's so you low. can see it's spinning around there. And hopefully if we talk over it, we're not going to get done for copyright. copyright. But this is the, doesn't that look so cool, the clear vinyl? I know. Oh, that's really soft. That's really soft. So though. let's just keep talking over the top of the music. So this is the latest album that's playing. Yeah. So this is so and long. A new long. record player. It's yeah. so cool. So this is the song So Long London. It's I love it. It's so pretty. And this record actually is really nice. We played it this morning when it came. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah. It's this so is good. Very good quality. Yeah. It's a good birthday present, it isn't is. it? It is. <laughs> it was very much a surprise. It's awesome. Yeah, and the the sound on it is just incredible. If copyright wasn't a thing, we'd blast oh, it yeah, and we... show you because <laughs> it's good. Yeah. But anyway, that's. I think that's it for all our haul yeah. stuff. It's been one haul after another, which is why we haven't been online creating content, but we've had lots of fun shopping. shopping. <laughs> We don't get to do that often, so no, we get busy, so you've so. had a good birthday, haven't I you? I have. It's been really fun doing all the shopping. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Makeup and music. Yeah, makeup and music <laughs> pretty much. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.